so we are back. Uh, we are on Upwork.com, which is the platform I am choosing to hire my virtual assistant for Poshmark. And I'm going to take you through the whole process from beginning to end, and then you can actually just follow my steps and do it for yourself. Just a lot of people are very afraid to let go of everything, all the tasks that they need to do because they feel like it's just not going to get done the right way or correctly, or you can do it better. But trust me, you need to start outsourcing. And this is a great way to do it because you can find someone overseas in a different country that is a very great price that is really loves what they do and you can search for them right here there's also another platform called fiverr.com which i use as well and all there's so many you know jobs that you can do it's not just for virtual assistants let's say if you need um, someone to write a blog post or if you need help with sales or or website development or logo design anything it is all here great prices really good work so let's get started the first thing you want to do is actually sign up for a free account with upwork.com you can use my link below as a referral and um, so you're just going to go ahead and find freelancers so we want to go ahead and we're going to type in poshmark and I'm going to push search and I do want to start I'm going to look for someone in the Philippines because I know that they typically do awesome work and they are great at you know great hourly rates so I'm going to turn this off for us only and then I'm going to actually click on filters and I'm going to search locations in the Philippines and then here are your filters so you can do um, I'm going to put uh, job success I do want to have 90% and up I know that's going to start limiting but believe me there's a lot of people out there that um, are competing so there's just tons and tons of talent out there and I don't they don't need to have any amount earned and English level I do want to have somebody that is fluent in English and then hourly rate definitely ten dollars and below I'm looking for someone around the three to four dollar range for the type of work that they're doing which is literally sharing my closet it really doesn't take too much skill to do that so I'm looking for someone in that price range okay uh, over here hours billed that would be how many bill how many hours has that person been billed for me it does not really matter however whether it's you know 100 hours 1000 hours it's not a big deal uh, last activity so I'm going to leave these as is and I'm going to scroll down and the filters are applied you don't need to push a button so let's go ahead and look right off the bat I see eight dollars an hour which is too high for me I'm gonna keep scrolling until I find someone in the three to four range okay so this person right here I like the price and I like the fact that she's a Poshmark assistant okay let's go ahead um, she's earned 40,000 Wow that's a lot of money considering she only makes 30 375 an hour 95 percent job success Philippines this looks like a really good person I'm gonna click on her profile so after I click on her profile I'm gonna go ahead and just read a little bit more about her okay um, as I scroll down it just takes a second to load I am a Poshmark VSA assistant in sh assisting in sharing closets increasing network of followers and increasing sales that is exactly what I am looking for I'm also someone that would like to engage in data entry, typing handwritten documents, PDF files, and other image formats, retyping to work, blah, 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 hardworking, really serious about being offered, works being offered to me, so rest assured, I will do my very best. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to scroll down and look at her feedback, and let's see what she's done. Okay. 
Okay, this one is too expensive um, for me to continue selling on Poshmark, okay? Retyping, Poshmark account manager, she got five stars. Virtual assistant, Poshmark share, she got 3.8 stars. Poshmark share assistant, awesome worker. Let's see this one. Poshmark closet share, she got five on that one, five on that one, five stars on that one. Let's read this review. Zaya Sell has been such a wonderful asset. She does the job right and does it on time. She's polite, reliable, and great with communication. Highly re recommend her. This person, wow, has paid her $1,100. So apparently she's very happy with her as uh, an assistant. Let's go ahead and keep looking. So looks like she's gotten some really good reviews. I might go ahead and hire her, but I'm going to go check out one or two other profiles first before I make my decision. So I'm going to scroll through again. I think there's a few, about four pages of um, people I need to scroll through. So let's see this person. I don't see Poshmark, which I'm sure though they would be fine. But let me once I want to find someone that specifically says Poshmark. Now remember, whatever platform, this does not have to be just Poshmark. If you're on eBay or Etsy or um, Shopify or whatever it is, you just would customize it for whatever platform or whatever job that you need. I'm just giving you the example um, specifically for Poshmark. Okay, let's continue on to the next page and see if we can find somebody else that looks good. $10, $7, theory. Here's one for $3, specializes in data entry. Okay, I do not see Poshmark here, so I'm going to continue on. Here's one, Shopify, eBay, Amazon, OpenCart. This one looks good too, which I'm sure I could train her to do Poshmark, but to be honest with you, I really like the profile of the very first person that we looked at. So let me just go to page four and check to make sure that there's nobody else. This one is more of like a chat support, email and phone. Okay, $5 an hour, $4 an hour. Here's a virtual assistant social media manager. This person might work, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and invite the first person that we spoke about to my job. So that is Zaya Sell, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. So what I'm going to do is, you is either hire her directly or invite her to the job. Those are the options. Inviting to the job means you've already posted a job and you just want her to see what the job is and invite her to take a look at it. I'm just going to go ahead and hire her right on the spot. So you're going to have a pop-up right here that just says stay safe and that's just that you need to make sure you're paying only through Upwork to make sure that everything stays within the, the Upwork platform and that will Make sure that you don't go outside of their <clears throat> their actual rules and regulations. Um, you're going to push I understand and submit. Okay, so the job category, we're going to do hourly, or you can do fixed price, pay by the milestone with escrow protection. You can pay by the hour and verify time logged in, and that's the way I'm going to go hourly. So the job category is going to be admin support, and I'm going to be um, personal virtual assistant and continue. Contract title, Poshmark. Um, let's put Poshmark VA, 375 an hour. And let's go ahead and put her for, I'm going to start out with five hours a week. And that's going to be, let's just start her out with, actually, you know what, let's do, yeah, let's see how she does at five hours a week. And that's just going to be, let's just hire a day, an hour a day for a week and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and type in our work description. 
So the first thing we need to do is um, assistant will be sharing my Poshmark and growing my audience. Um, specifically, my entire needs to be shared at least one time per day. Also, assistant will be sharing other goals closet. My goal is to increase sales and followers. That's it. So you can think about, I'm just doing a quick work description, but you can think about exactly what you want this person to be doing. Now you've got to be real specific. Sometimes you can include a file of a video. You can include anything you need to help this person understand what you need to get done. Um, this is a super easy job. Um, it's basically sharing. She already knows how to do that. So I don't need to get into too much detail, but, um, this person, you know, you just got to be real specific until you develop a rapport with the person that you are hiring. So I'm going to, um, it takes actually about almost a half hour to share my closet because I have about almost 500 listings. And just by, um, I do edit share, which means you push edit share. So it goes to the top of the search results. So that takes like, seriously, it's like almost a half hour. So right there, just sharing my closet one time a day and following others, other people. And that's going to take up the hour like that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put my billing method. I'm going to add my billing method and there's a 3% processing fee. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to click off while I enter my information. Okay. I typed in my billing and I just click this right here and I am going to hire her. Now we're going to be in contact because I need to give her my login details and things like that but I just wanted to show you how easy it was to actually hire her and um, when she accepts it is when the actual contract will begin and like I said, it's for five hours and uh, give her a little more details about how to uh, log into my account and exactly, you know, how she needs to share my closet. I'm going to say you need to share it from the bottom up and any little details so she can't, can't get confused. And that what's going to happen, um, I will give you uh, another, I'm going to do another video on the results of this actual, I'm going to go through the week or two and see how it works with this particular person and the results. So I know that will be really interesting for you guys to see, does this really work and is it worth it? So that will be in the next video, video number two, second part. But um, so I'm going to wait to hear back from her and that's really it. So I've hired a VA so easy. If you are not hiring a VA to do simple tasks, especially if you have a lot of products to load and um, just so many different uh, opportunities to outsource all the tasks that you have in your job, you need to do that like right away. So make sure that you go ahead and uh, like this video if it was helpful. I hope you go ahead and sign up for Upwork. I'm going to leave that link below and uh, go create your first job and let me know how it goes. All right, guys. So in the next video, we'll go over what happened and continue on with this video. All right, take care.